same or fearful love. In the name of the Father, the Son, and position of being like a very well-dressed squatter and welcoming you to someone else's house. Um, um, I'm particularly welcoming to such a beautiful home, um, which I think you've all seen. And later I think Andy's going to show us the scissors that he cuts the lawn with. <laughs> a few things, well these are usually about um, the, the meeting of young people and um, a beautiful relationship. It's also the meaning of other things. Um, it's the meaning of town and country. <laughs> We've got an unusual Fermanagh Belfast wedding. Um, it's very unusual for, and very rare for a Fermanagh man to marry outside the county. <laughs> it's actually quite rare for a Fermanagh man to marry outside his immediate family. <laughs> um, but in this case, it's a proper marriage of, of town and city. Uh, Dad being one of the oldest here, um, <laughs> he remembers when the first Belfast man came to Fermanagh um, and he remembers him seeing two milk bottles in a hedge and thinking it was a cow's nest. Um, so it's important that, the, that these misconceptions are, are changed. I think like that, the two married life that both of them, it's going to be like two people in a boat and they should really row the same direction. <laughs> because if they row opposite to each other, you know, they're just going to go nowhere. So uh, I would say, you know, that's one of the things about, uh, I would uh, like to say, you know, well, well, I know that's going to happen because uh, they're two different personalities. Kieran may be a bit led by. Uh, a bit. And, uh, <laughs> when he was growing up, like, and we were interested in his education, uh, my mother and I used to go down to the, to the, to the school uh, prize, uh, prize nights and that. And we'd be asking the teacher, like, you know, we don't see this Kieran by doing any work. We don't see him reading a book or nothing, you know. And he just said, don't you worry about Kieran, he'll get there. So I think he'd read a book about an hour before the exam, and then he came you know, through the flying colour, you know. And he's like a, he's like a chicken laying an egg. Uh, you know, you never see the chicken laying the egg, but every morning he comes out, you know. <laughs> but, uh, no, seriously, seriously, it's taking it. uh, I'm very seldom serious. I would really, really like to welcome Kieran and the family, you know. And from what I've seen, you know, and I don't usually call less, to be honest with you. From what I've seen over this past couple of years, you know, and seen him here, I think he'll do all right, you know. And uh, there's a few of us about know what we're talking about, you know. So, uh, 
I think they'll be alright. One of the parts of uh, getting married and, uh, is that you're setting up a home together. And uh, people can ask, how, you know, how's that going to be? Who's going to wear the trousers and all those sorts of things? You know, we sort of come up. And one of the things I've sort of learned over the last last few years is that um, what you do, sorry, I've seen your fair piss, I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> one, one, of the things, one of the things I've learned over the last few years is that what you do for a living, what your occupation is, um, usually tells you actually very little about what you're like at home. In fact, quite often it's the complete opposite. Um, for an example, uh, my father has been an electrician for a good 40 years. But you still need to use uh, rubber soled shoes if you're going to turn on the toaster at home, you know? Um, uh, Andy is, is, uh, in, his, in his time at sea, you know, has been around the world 10 times. He still gets lost three times the way the film station. Um, and I think it's actually the same for ourselves because. Um, See, Annette runs her cafe in, in, in the city centre. Cafe, you know, in case you don't know. Yeah. Reasonable, reasonable prices. Uh, if you're looking to beat the credit crunch, that's the best thing. Um, and, uh, and I work for a theatre company. Um, but at home, uh, at home, I do the cooking, and she's the drama queen. <laughs> But having said that, um, in the old days, she's, <laughs> having said that, she is always the star of the show, no matter what day of the week it is. She always remembers her lines, and she has a lot of lines. <laughs> and like any good performer, she always keeps you coming back for more. And uh, I, I, I love her with all my heart, and I'm so glad that you're all here to share this day with us because I think it's it's gonna be the, the start of a, a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Later. march. Would you like me?